Today's Friday video is on a Saturday, and some of you might be wondering why. Well, the reason is, is because what I'm filming with right now is a brand spanking new camera which I got this morning. And I'm very happy with it. As you can see, the quality has improved a lot. It's not so red anymore. The other camera I used made everything look very pink and red. And also you might notice that there's widescreen bars here at the top and the bottom. Well, that is the way I'll be filming the rest of my videos from now on because it pretty much just improves the quality a lot. Also, another cool feature which the camera has is you can zoom real close up and into things. Let's try zooming into Cartman there. Hello, Cartman. So that's pretty cool. Yep. So there you go, my brand new camera. So let's get on with the questions now. Well, Ocarina of Time was my favourite one, and I do like pretty much every single Zelda game, apart from the Philips CDI ones, which were utter shite. However, my second favourite Zelda game, which is not Ocarina of Time, is The Wind Waker. <whistles> Wind Waker. And I like The Wind Waker because its graphical style was pretty awesome, the gameplay was awesome as well, the storyline was... it was pretty good, yeah. And overall, it was just a great game. So, yeah, that would be my next favourite Zelda game, The Wind Waker. I actually haven't played any of them yet, but I'm thinking of getting Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition for the Wii, obviously. So I'm getting the Wii Zapper along with it as well, and I've seen some trailers for it, and it looks pretty darn good, so I'll be getting probably Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition first. Because we all have to start somewhere, don't we? Yeah, this is the same. I don't own these games, but I have played Time Crisis 3 in the arcade before. And from what I played of it, I could tell that it was a really fun game. With the pew 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 guns and everything. So I might consider getting one of them first. However, I'm probably going to get the Wii Zapper and Resident Evil 4 before Time Crisis. I would probably say Ultra Nico is better because I think, I just feel that she's trying a lot harder than Boo Kitty because Boo Kitty doesn't actually have that many reviews available to watch. And Ultra Nico has quite a lot as well. They're both very good game reviewers. I just feel that Ultra Nico is trying a lot harder than Boo Kitty. Probably because I think Boo Kitty actually stopped reviewing a long time ago, which might explain why she stopped making videos altogether and only has, what, well, I don't know, six or seven reviews. So probably Ultra Nico is better. To be honest, there aren't actually that many games coming out for these systems that are actually appealing to me right now. I think the only one that I'm looking forward to on either system is Banjo-Kazooie 3 on the Xbox 360. Most of the games that are appealing to me, like Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Mario Kart Wii, are either on the Wii and Nintendo DS. So pretty much most of the games I'm getting right now are for Nintendo systems. Not just because they are Nintendo games, it's just because that the games are more appealing to me right now. I actually don't use a capture card at all. What I do is I get a DVD recorder and then I record some game footage onto one of these here discs, put the disc into the computer and then use a program called I'm 2 DVD Ripper Platinum to record footage onto the computer from the DVD. And then you can put it all in Windows Movie Maker and it's as simple as that. So yeah, I don't use a capture card at all. I'm pretty much the only one who uses this method probably, but oh well. I actually tried looking at some manga of Dragon Ball Z and it just wasn't the same really. I just liked the show so much better than the manga. I don't know why I just, just really couldn't get into the manga at all. Maybe it's because I'm not much of a reader. Yeah, that's probably why. 
Okay, I've never played that game and I honestly had never heard of it before you mentioned it. But I have checked out some reviews for it and an awful lot of people say that it's a pile of shit, so I won't be getting that game. Okay, my favourite is Pikachu. I mean, come on, you've got to love Pikachu, right? He's the star of the anime and everything, gotta love him. Second favourite, Luxray from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Oh my god, he is so fucking awesome. Well, in my opinion, anyway. He's... <whistles> Luxray is cool. Yep, and third favourite, Charizard. Again, Charizard is fucking awesome, and I'm glad that you get to play as him in Brawl. Fourth favourite, Mewtwo, because Mewtwo is the best legendary, the original legendary, and will always be one of the most powerful, strong legendaries of them all. Next, I say Piplup from Pokemon Diamond, because he's a cute little penguin who grows into Empoleon, who I always use basically, Piplup. Next, I have Rapidash. Now, why did I pick Rapidash? Because, I don't know, it just seems that in every single game, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Ruby, and Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I have ended up using Rapidash, because he always comes in handy for some reason. So, I say Rapidash for that reason. I also like Ante, the legendary dog from the Gold series. He's my favourite legendary dog, and my second favourite legendary Pokemon. Next, Moltres, the legendary bird from Pokemon Red and Blue, because Moltres is really cool. And Pidgeot as well, because I, yeah, again, I usually end up using Pidgeot. Apart from in Pokemon Diamond, I use Staraptor. But in the first three series of Pokemon, I used Pidgeot. And finally, I say Gyarados, because I love training Magikarp into a Gyarados. I don't know why, I just feel the urge that when I get an old rod, I have to catch a Magikarp and train it to be a Gyarados. Why? I don't know. I just, I just have to do it. Oh, that's an easy one. Kingdom Hearts on the PS2. Now, I thought Kingdom Hearts 1 was that slight bit better than Kingdom Hearts 2, because it was more challenging and there was a little bit more to do, basically. So, Kingdom Hearts is the best game I've ever played, I'd say. Yes, I have. They are two awesome bands. I'd have to say, personally, that Led Zeppelin are better, especially the Immigrant song in particular, which was just pure awesomeness. And now is the time for... Guess That Game! And this week's Guess That Game is... So if you think you know what the game is, then please send me a private message saying what you think the game is. And remember, not a video comment because I get pissed off when you do that, so thank you very much. <laughs> Last week's Guess That Game was Bomberman 64 for the Nintendo 64. Here are a list of people who guessed that right. Sunshine, lollipops and rainbows Everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together Brighter than a lucky penny When you're near the rain goes disappears The first person to guess that right, however, and the winner overall was Chugga Conroy! Oh, yeah, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, by the way. So, hopefully your name is pronounced Chugga Conroy! <laughs> And now for this week's random poll, and the random poll is, which show do you prefer, Drake and Josh or Keenan and Cal? Now personally, I prefer Keenan and Cal because I find that a lot funnier. I do like Drake and Josh, but Cal in particular made Keenan and Cal just that much more funnier than Drake and Josh. So if you want to vote in this week's random poll, then please follow the link to the right in the video description. In last week's random poll we asked, what is your favourite anime out of the following list? And then there was a big long list of animes and a lot of people voted on them. So I will now reveal the results. 
This one might take some time because there are a lot of them. 23 people said Dragon Ball Z, 16 people said that they don't watch anime or any of the animes on the list, 10 people said Pokemon, 10 people said Bleach, 10 people said Naruto, 5 people said Yu-Gi-Oh, 5 people said Full Metal Alchemist, 5 people said Cowboy Bebop, 4 people said Digimon, 3 people said One Piece, 2 people said Sailor Moon, 2 people said Cardcaptor Sakura, 1 person said Inuyasha, and nobody said Gundam Wing or Ghosts in the Shell. <sighs> So this is the end of this week's Friday video, and before I go I'd just like to say that my next review is on Guitar Hero 3. I would have actually finished this last week, but I was waiting for my new camera to come before I started any important filming for it. So you might get to see the review sometime within the next week or so. And with that said, please keep sending in your questions and vote for the random poll and stuff like that. And I'll see you all again with yet another Friday video next week.